If I could describe the immersion trips in one, in one word, it would be transformative. Peaceful. Incredible. New. Life-changing. I went to Belize City my junior year, and then senior year I went to Managua, Nicaragua. I went on PG, or wait, no. I went to Punta Gorda, Belize. Belize City, that was my first trip. Uh, Punta Gorda, Belize was my second trip. And my last trip this year was in Ecuador. Um, I've been on four trips. Um, freshman year to Belize City, Belize. Um, sophomore year, um, Managua, Nicaragua, junior year, Punta Gorda, Belize, and then this year, Guayaquil, Ecuador. I've been on three different trips. I've been to Belize City three times, um, Punta Gorda, Belize three times, and this year to El Salvador. I can go to Mardi Gras every year, and I just thought like this would be a great way to like meet more people at school and like just experience life in like a whole different way, and it did. I came my senior year of high school and they were talking about the trips and so I knew about them from, from then and that's one reason why I came to Spring Hill um, because I really wanted to go on those trips and so every year um, since then I've made it a priority I guess and I've looked forward to the trips every year. And I absolutely loved my time in Belize City junior year and so senior year it was a no-brainer. I went ahead and applied to be a student leader um, and got selected for the trip to Managua so I was really excited to get to go again after the experience I had junior year. I wanted to travel and, and learn about other people's cultures and also I wanted to do some sort of service. By going on these immersion trips, you're able to, to see the way you live in completely different ways and that helps bring about transformation. I had never been on a mission trip before or any type of trip like this. I mean, I traveled but not in helping in this way. I, it reminded me of like what I love in life and like what I want to do and it I think coming back from this trip, I think I have a huge desire to like um, work for social justice. The Spring Hill immersion trips totally turned my world upside down and really had me reflect upon where my life was going and some of the motives in my life and um, really transformed me. Well, with El Salvador, it, there's not a service component as there are with the other trips. It's, what the group we work with, Chris Paz, calls a reverse mission. So when you're in country, you're supposed to take it all in. And then when you get back to the States, that's where you do your work. I was like, gaining from the trips definitely a better knowledge of how the world works. Um, it's very different to read about Nicaragua or Belize or one of those countries in a textbook or to see it on the news. It's another thing to actually sit in a van and drive around a city where people are selling bags of water just for their livelihood. The moment that I fell in love with their immersion trips and wanted to continue on and realized I was making a difference was when I was playing with uh, the children for the family that we were building a house for. So it wasn't even actually in the service. It was like holding a toddler and like standing with um, his mother and like talking with her. Unquestionably for me, the most meaning meaningful thing was we met with a group of women known as comadres and they were women whose children were disappeared during the Civil War. And hearing their stories was just absolutely compelling. Not only what they witnessed, but what they themselves experienced. Things as egregious as torture and rape. The moment that stood out to me the most was, um, we were like on the pier with um, this kid whose name was Pokemon. He, he was 14. He was, um, he was Belizean and he had a little sass and we loved him and he was just like him and um, Jamie and a girl that was on our trip was just they were going at it having like a rap contest and like it was just like such a cool moment because I felt like we were in such solidarity with them because like even though we're from different countries completely different ages like who knows what we had in common but like they were having a rap off on the pier and like to me like it was like kind of beautiful to see so it's silly but it's beautiful. Uh, when we were in Nicaragua kind of the person that stood out to me was our security guard, Geronimo. Um, he was somebody who one of the groups had built a house for in the past and he just kind of hung out with the group and was the security guard. He just kind of made sure we were all safe. Um, but it was really interesting because he had seen so many of these groups come down but he was so, so interested in who we were and what we were doing. I mean, 
I took Spanish in high school and I haven't spoken any since, but I was able somehow to have a 30 minute conversation with him about baseball and soccer and you know the field of study I'm pursuing and what he liked to do. And it was just one of those moments where I connected with somebody down there, kind of on their level. I was able to speak his language and his eyes just lit up during this conversation and it was just one of the one of the funnest conversations I guess I had down there. In Nicaragua I guess is the big like my my favorite trip out of all the ones I went on just because it impacted me the most. And after that trip I went back to Nicaragua last summer and lived for um, three months and worked in their center there, taught teaching English and um, became really close with like all the kids in their program there. And um, my fa um, I fell in love with this one little boy named Hector. And everywhere he goes, he like runs and jumps and skips everywhere. And he's just so awesome. And my family is actually um, helping like sponsor him now just because I fell in love with him so much and the kids there. Outside the classroom, serving as an advisor on these trips is the most important thing I do at Spring Hill College. And I see what happens on these trips as an extension of what happens in the classroom. I mean, I can talk about principles like social justice in class, or I can talk about poverty in class, but until people see it firsthand, they really can't wrap their minds around it. And when you go on these trips, it's really great to see Spring Hill students grow. And I, will, I tell students constantly, if you go on one of these trips, it will undeniably be one of the highlights of your Spring Hill experience. And it really serves as a capstone. It embodies all that a Jesuit education is all about. Learning about yourself, learning about the world, and becoming a servant leader. The Jesuit ideals permeate within the immersion trips. And so you learn about social, social justice, and they perform work all on the glory, the greater glory of God. So. With, with those underlying uh, principles within our work, my faith has grown to appreciate those and really become stronger. Like, I see God like through people and through actions like every day, like not just through church or something like that. Like I don't, I really, for me, that's kind of like how I see God now is like just through people, and I think it's like a really like beautiful way to see the world. So I was a very private person in my faith more before coming to college and the immersion trips kind of like forced you to like share your faith with others and I never really, I mean I was in like, you know, church groups and stuff in high school but I never really felt it like I did on these trips. So it definitely made me like more open and willing to talk about faith I guess. Part of the trip since it's done through campus ministry is to really take time to reflect and pray every day. Um, we started each day with a morning prayer, we prayed each day before lunch, and then we had a nighttime reflection um, at the end of every day. And it really made you stop and think about you know, what you were actually doing there. Um, it provided you with an opportunity to hear what everybody else in the group was thinking, what the emotions they were going through, and a chance to kind of share amongst everybody what we were going through. And it the bonds that I've made with like the people on this trip are just like, you can't replace that. Like, like when you share an experience like that, like it's just incredible. And our group this year um, was an exemplification of that. We had some really bright people, great senses of humor. It was great working with Sister Patty on a trip for the first time. So it was just unbelievable experience. Community definitely was a big part of these trips. Uh, getting to know the people uh, in your group that you see on campus on a regular basis was incredible. There were a lot of people that I probably had judged, although I shouldn't have, or just had preconceived notions about them. And throughout a week, I saw a totally different side of them. When I see them throughout throughout the campus, it's not there's there's more behind that smile. There's an understanding. There's a family within each person. Freshman year, I like went into the trip and didn't talk. I was really shy and didn't talk for like the first day, few days. I didn't know anyone on my trip. They do it totally different now, where like you pretty much kind of know your group, but my freshman year you really didn't have much interaction before the trip and it like definitely like broke me out of my shell and um, and I mean I'm I love that sense of community and that's why I'm doing JBI because I'm, I wanted to be in a community with community with people after I graduated I'm gonna be living with you know seven other people so um, one of the most fascinating things about these trips is the community that you build so quickly whether it's with the group that you travel with or the people that you help there uh, 
You, we get applications come in from all across campus to go on these trips and the groups come together and you may know a person or two, you may not know anybody. And the real beauty of the trip for the Spring Hill community is that you actually get to meet and become really, really good friends with people who you never knew before. Um, you spend six months getting ready for this trip with the same people and then you spend a week in a totally new culture with them. So it's hard to not almost become best friends with a whole new group of people. Um, and so that's something that's really stood out to me about these trips and it happened with my Belize City group junior year and with my Managua group senior years. You just come to know a whole nother side of campus that you may not have known.